Hi boys and girls, today I am a little bit wild. I've dressed up from a character from Where the Wild Things Are. And this is a great story. I really love this story because this little boy uses his imagination. And it's something that you might like to do um, with some play at home with a brother or sister. So let's enjoy the story. Okay, Where the Wild Things Are. Oops, let's get it right. Here we go. We've already got some great pictures happening. The night Max wore his wolf suit and made mischief of one kind and another, his mother called him Wild Thing. And Max said, I'll eat you up. So he was sent to bed without eating anything. Ooh, he looks a little bit cranky here in this picture. That very night in Max's room, a forest grew. And grew. It certainly is growing, boys and girls. The forest is getting bigger. And grew until his ceiling hung with vines and the walls become the world all around. So his bedrooms changed into a jungle. And an ocean tumbled by with a private boat for Max and he sailed off through night and day. And in and out of weeks and almost over a year to where the wild things are. And when he came to a place where the wild things are, they roared their terrible roars and they gnashed their terrible teeth and they rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. Till Max said, be still, and tamed them with the magic trick of staring into all their yellow eyes without blinking once. And they were frightened and called him the most wild thing of all. There you go, there's their yellow eyes that he was staring into. and made him king of all the wild things. And now, cried Max, let the wild rumpus start. And here we are. Oh, we're on the trees there. Oh, here he is. This is the king and he's on top of one of the monsters. Now stop, Max said, and sent the wild things off to bed without their supper. And Max, the king of all the wild things, was lonely and wanted to be where someone loved him best of all. Then all around from far away across the world, he smelled good things to eat. So he gave up being kind of where the wild, oh, sorry, gave up being king of where the wild things are. Mm, I think he liked the smell of dinner. But the wild things cried, oh, please don't go. We'll eat you up. We love you so. And Max said, no. The wild things roared their terrible roars and gnashed their terrible teeth and rolled their terrible eyes and showed their terrible claws. But Max stepped into his private boat and waved goodbye. And sailed back over a year and in and out of weeks and through a day.
and into the night of his very own room where he found his supper waiting for him. Oh, here it is. You can see it by the window here on the table. And it was still hot. Well, boys and girls, I hope you like that story today, Where the Wild Things Are. That's one of my favourites um, about Max and his imagination. I really hope that um, you are having a good time at home the best you can with mum and dad and brothers and sisters or grandmas and grandpas, that you are, aren't troubled with all the work that you need to do. Remember, if you are having trouble, just get mum or someone to send me an email or you can even send me a little note under the activity on Seesaw. Um, I've really, really enjoyed looking and marking all your work. You are doing such an amazing job. I'm really proud of all of you. I miss you all terribly. I miss your smiles. I miss your little hugs. I miss all the beautiful things that I get to see each day of you guys growing into amazing little learners. You are incredible children. Your mum and dad should be so proud of you, which I'm sure they really are. I'm extremely proud of you and just keep going and doing the best you can. You are all amazing. Please keep reading those books at home. Um, upload yourself reading a book to me. Um, ask mum and dad, could you snuggle up with them and get them to read with you? Reading is so important. Imagination is so important. And I really hope you like today's character. So I miss you terribly. I can't wait to see you and hopefully we'll be back next week. Um, I'll see you all on Friday. So have a great day today. See you all and can't wait to mark that great work. Bye.